Hey everyone, welcome to 996 The Howl for the Uninitiated. This is an unedited YouTube vlog discussing everything Arizona Coyotes. And today, during the All-Star break, you know, 10 days off of hockey. Um, a good deserved rest for fans and the Coyotes as a whole. Just want to take this time to, you know, highlight a hidden gem on our roster and a player who I think other fans of other hockey teams should get to know you know they should know who Connor Garland is what kind of player he is and where he came from um, so let's get into it Connor Garland 510 he's listed as 5 feet 10 inches but uh, he looks like he's probably what 58 probably if I'm being generous 58 165 pounds um, that's me I'm 510 165 pounds so listed on the NHL website he's 510 165 that's me so imagine me on the ice uh, in the NHL that's Connor Garland. Pretty weird and pretty uh, amazing how he's put together a career already with such a short stature, but that's the way this game's changed. You know, the way he plays, we'll get into it more, but he's fast, he's small, he has a huge lower body, his legs. Look at these legs. Watch the screen behind me when they show his legs. Huge, huge, huge quads. But he was drafted in 20. 15. I think we all know 2015, the tank year where we drafted number three overall and number 30 overall, but Connor Garland was neither of those. He was drafted in the fifth round uh, in 2015. Obviously, number three was Dylan Strom and number 30 was Nick Merkley, both traded off by John Chaika, but uh, kept around was Connor Garland, and he's been so productive and such an energizer bunny for this team that he's basically he's done more than Strom and Merkley together and they were drafted both in the first round and here's Connor Garland drafted in the fifth round and he's made much more of an impact um, funny enough Don Maloney was a G GM at the time where he drafted Strom and Merkley and in a number of articles written about that draft he threw Chaika the fifth round pick and uh, when Chaika was an assistant GM there in his first year in the Coyotes organization. And uh, he told Don to draft Connor Garland. And what a story. Just continues to prove how John Chaika is such a great general manager for this team. And I love him. You know, I'm biased, obviously, but I really like all the moves John Chaika has made. This is not a John Chaika video, but there's that. So why did John Chaika decide to draft him? Well, because... In the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, uh, he put up huge, monstrous points. And I know the Q is known for high scoring and skill, but the OHL is slowly catching up. And there's a lot of high-end talent in the, in the on the Ontario Hockey League now. But uh, in 2015, yeah, it was all about the Q, and he had a lot of points. He had 128 points, 128 points in 62 games in his draft year. Um, in his next, in, no, that was his year after the draft. So after the draft, he had 128 points in 62 games. When he was drafted in that year, he had 129 points in 67 games. So kind of similar, 120 points in about 62 games for both his draft year and his one plus draft year. And those are huge points. That's almost two points per game for Connor Garland. And the, the fact that he went in the fifth round is bizarre. But I think during that time, you know, GMs were looking at size and body, which is why Don Maloney drafted Dylan Strom instead of Mitch Marner. But uh, yeah, John Chaikin knew the future was heading to small, speedy darters. And that was Connor Garland to a T. So he gets drafted, uh, puts up another great year in the queue. But then goes to the Tucson Roadrunners, has a couple rough year, maybe two years, and then the year where he gets promoted to the Coyotes, he had 19 points in 18 games with the Tucson Roadrunners, making a bit of a name of himself, point per game. And, you know, during that year, uh, the Coyotes were injury riddled. Um, everyone was getting getting injured left and right. They were calling up whoever they could. You know, I, I remember Michael Bunting was called up, Fashing was called up but a number of players were called called up and then Connor Garland gets called up December 8th 2018 and since then Connor Garland's been the leading goal scorer for the Coyotes that's yes, it's unbelievable with all these players like Clayton Keller 
and Schmaltz, where Schmaltz was injured. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like a weird thing to say that Connor Gunn has been the leading goal scorer since December 8th, 2018, but he's also been the healthiest Coyote player since then. Um, with all of our star players being injured, Connor Garland has maintained a healthy body of work and has produced. You know, he goes quiet for about, you know, five game stretches here and there. I think he's currently on a five game quiet stretch, perhaps. It's been a while. But uh, he gets right back into it, scores in bunches, and now he's paired with Taylor Hall. And uh, that's a, been an increase in his assist numbers because for his rookie season with the Coyotes, he's had 13 goals in 47 games, which is not bad. It's good for your for a rookie guy, but only five assists in those 47 games. And uh, 59% of his faceoff starts were in the offensive zone. So obviously Rick Tockett was, you know, playing to his strengths. Not giving him too many defensive assignments. Uh, five assists, 47 games. That's pretty poor, I would say. But in his sophomore year, in this current season, he's already doubled his assist totals. He's got 16 goals in 50 games and 12 assists in those 50 games. Playing with Taylor Hall on the top line with Christian, Christian Dvorak. And Garland and Hall are a match made in heaven. They look great together. Uh, Garland fishes a pucks and passes it to Hall. And then Hall does what he wants with it. He'll, he'll either shoot it or he'll make another great pass to Devo or Garland. But um, what's different this year is that Garland has even offensive zone starts and defensive zone starts. So he's 50% um, on the faceoff when starting the offensive zone. So Rick Tockett is starting to use Garland uh, more defensively, giving him more defensive assignments, and uh, still using him in the offensive side. It's great to see how um, his numbers may have been inflated last year with so many ozone starts, 60%. And now that that's dropped to 50-50, uh, he still puts up 16 goals in 50 games. So that's great to see. His Corsi possession numbers and Fenwick possession numbers are both positive. Um, he doesn't have too many giveaways. He's not really a defensive black hole, Connor Garland. He's just like such a great puck retriever on the boards. He'll dart in, grab the puck, and then look and dish it to someone else. He never gives up on a play. He's always using his speed either defensively or offensively. He's just such a unique player to watch. And I don't see many other players in the National Ho Hockey League play his type of style. It's very, you know very unique like I said but it's non-traditional way of hockey he just I don't know he just gets under the stick of whoever he's up against whether they're you know six feet tall or six foot four uh he'll battle against them and um he plays offensively like a Clayton Keller just without the skill you know Keller's more skilled and they're equally as fast um they're equally in their stature you know the same size but I don't know, Connor Garland just hustles on the puck every shift. Um, he's never not noticeable, whereas Clayton Keller kind of goes invisible at times. And I think that's because Keller's not as good defensively and not as good away from the puck. But Connor Garland, when he's away from the puck, he's looking to get the puck. He's always looking just to hound on the puck. And uh, I hope when other fans watch a Coyotes game, um, they notice Garland. They're like, who is that? He's so noticeable on the ice. You know, just had to make a video for him. Um, is that pretty much it? I don't know. I love Garland. Small guy. Um, drafted later rounds. Um, no expectations for this kid. 23 years old, and he's starting to make a name for himself. I know the fans love Connor Garland. But I just want other hockey fans, to, you know, to know who he is. And when they watch a Coyotes game down the stretch, they see, you know, they see Connor Garland paired with Hall. And they're like, who is that? He looks so noticeable. He's always trying. And he's feisty. He's an energizer bunny. When talking needs some energy in the lineup, he'll throw Garland out. And, um, yeah, I'm happy that Tockett has promoted him to the top line this season. Garland was n not always a top line player. He was always around the third line, even the fourth line. And he would still produce and still play the exact same way. And the fact that he got promoted to a top line on the in the NHL uh, just continues to play his way. And that's one of the 
it's one of the few players I see that plays his game and plays it consistently night in and night out. You know, rarely takes a night off. If he has a night, an off night on the score sheet, you know, he's there retrieving pucks, you know, trying to make a difference and just hungry. This guy is just hungry and I uh, just want to talk about him during this All-Star break. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your support.